Every October for the past four years, we Arlingtonians and our neighbors have been the recipients of a gift that is the Arlington International Film Festival. This year, the Best Feature Documentary Award went to Bozzo, the teacher from Tbilisi. It chronicles the inspiring life of Bozzo Koroshelli, born in the Soviet Republic of Georgia in 1931. To label him a musician, a sculptor, and a music teacher, while not lies exactly, would be significantly underselling both him and this film's emotional weight. Joining me today to discuss Bozzo, the film and the man, is award-winning producer and director Tom Walters, responsible for some 50 documentaries and educational programs, including Bozzo most recently. Welcome, Tom. Oh, thank you. I'm happy to be here. Thank you. Um, Bozzo opened this year's Arlington International Film Fest. Um, how was it received? Very well. We've, you know, it's actually mirrored what's happening at other film festivals. The audience uh, just tends to have an emotional reaction to the film mm -hmm. um, because there's a lot of sh plot sh shifts in the film. Even though it's a documentary, a lot of uh, emotional moments um, mm -hmm. because his life was quite an extraordinary journey. Back to the beginning, the, mm -hmm. where you intersected with Bozo first. Um, what did you find so compelling about him? his life story, um, what about that story sort of said, oh yeah, significant commitment of time and energy um, is worthy to, to document this, this life story? Well, you know, I first met him, he taught my daughter's violin. They were six and nine, and I knew immediately, you know, he was unique, and my kids were getting a lot out of it, mm -hmm. uh, you know, receiving lessons with him. But the more I learned about him, his story, you know, I'd hear from other people, oh man, what a story he has, you know, mm -hmm. he was came from the Soviet uh, Republic of Georgia. Um, his father was a famous actor, who, and Stalin would actually come to his father's performances, so mm -hmm. he met Stalin as a boy, mm -hmm. shortly after um, Stalin had his father executed. Mm -hmm. um, so his life started in such a dramatic way. Um, you know, later he went, uh, was considered a son of a dissident, so he had no rights. Eventually they put him on the front lines. He was captured by the Nazis. Mm -hmm. So there are these stories that were starting to emerge, and I just thought, wow, what an extraordinary... But not just that, who he is as a person is so extraordinary. His mm -hmm. method of teaching and his positive uh, attitude towards life after all he's mm -hmm. gone through is remarkable, yeah. Is there anything else you can imagine um, being of interest to, to or, or helpful to viewers? I should really acknowledge, you know, when you make a film, it's not you just making a film. Mm -hmm. They call me the filmmaker, and you know, but right. it's really a team. And sure. uh, fortunately, um, some of them are coming, you know, at the festival. Mm -hmm. um, Randy Barros, the the editor, uh, extraordinary, and uh, Hilary Grant, a writer. David Thayer was a producer. Simon Islander, mm -hmm. uh, cinematographer. We all. It, it's really a team effort when you make a film. It's a collaborative media. Sure. So. Um, I always like to acknowledge them. For Tom Walters, I'm Peter Bermudis for Arlington Public News.